verifying stage area and checking the output and block files. So now that we have completed extracting the stage area, now it's time to go and check whether everything is okay or not. Now you can do that in a couple of ways. One is an easy way. You can simply go to the directory in which stage area is lying and check whether the software has been extracted there or not. That is the most easiest way, but I would not recommend this approach while you're installing for production environment. So let's explore how to go about this one. So that is my staging directory. And after running the extract or build stage.sh, I have got these extracted folders out here. As you would see the start CD, wherein the first three CDs in which the rapid install folder would be lying. You can see that and you've got all other folders out here but it's very difficult to say whether the stage area has been successfully installed or not so in order to check and verify whether the stage area is correct or not oracle has published a node and a utility what you call as md phi sum so if i go to support.oracle.com and i will look for this particular document ID 1505510.1 I will see that there is MD5 checksum for 12.2 rapid install available out here depending on your environment simply download the MD5 utility so in this case I have downloaded for release 12.2 Linux x86 64 environment and that downloaded one is by the name of MD5 underscore Linux dot txt and once you have done that, you've got to uh, transfer this downloaded file into the folder in which you have extracted the contents or while giving the command in the command prompt, you have to give the complete directory path of the place wherein you have downloaded this md5 underscore linux.txt or in other words, the md5 sum utility. Then once you have done that, as a next step, you have to simply go and execute the command. So on Linux environment, you have to run this command on command prompt, md5 sum, then check md5 sum underscore Linux 64.txt. And then by indicating like this, you are asking the system to write it onto this file, md5 sum underscore result dot txt. So simply go ahead and execute that command on the Linux drive and then you've got to open this file and see whether everything is correct. My suggestion is simply go and follow step-by-step -step instructions on this particular document ID on Oracle support website. So as a matter of fact now what we will do is we will simply go to our server and here I have that thing written with me so what I'm going to do it is I'll copy this and as a next step I will go to the command prompt and first thing I've got to do it is I have to mount my folder which is lying in the host environment. So that folder has been mapped with the guest with a folder name of stage R122. So let's mount it first. Once you've mounted it, it's lying it in the directory called as slash mnt. So change the directory slash mnt and then list out all the folders which have been created. So, hold on, where is it gone? So let me just minimize all these. All right, and as a next step, all you've got to do is look for md5 underscore linux dot txt, which is there, and simply paste the command out here and hit the enter button it will take usually 10 to 15 minutes depending on your processor speed to check all the files in the staging area and once it is done then you can simply go and check md5 sum underscore result and if there are any errors you can simply follow the notes out here so as it is written out here the steps to be followed when there are corrupted files so you can basically um, run 
the utilities which are over here to identify which part of the software has got the corrupted files so you can simply download these utilities as a part of what your environment you are in and for instance if you are in Linux x86 64 then simply download that and then follow up the instructions to identify which exactly the software part which has the issue and you've got to download that all over again and rerun the build stage.sh program and then rerun the md5 some utility to make sure there are no errors you've got to keep doing that until there are no errors found out of the result which generated in md5 some underscore result file so that's how you go about verifying the stage area so let's go into the server and run the md5 some utilities so which i have just done that using the command md5 sum and then here don't forget to name the precise file which you have downloaded which in my case was md5 underscore linux dot txt and then the result would go into this file so if i go back in my host and look for this file i should be able to find it so here you go and it would take around 10 to 15 minutes depending on your server processor speed and if i open this file in whatever state it is now i would be able to see that each of the zip file it is verifying and as you would see it will give the okay out here but if it is not okay it's going to show some kind of message wherein you can then go back to the node that i have shown you in the section 4 and you can download this file or this utility appropriate to your environment so in our case is linux x86 64 download this which will help you to identify which software part has got an issue and then you have to re-download and re-extract and make the stage area again until you reach a point that there are no errors in md5 sum utility output in md5 sum underscore result dot txt so now i will leave it to you to run this part from your end and i would highly recommend you to do that in your server environment prior to starting the release 12.2.0 installation and to avoid any kind of installation surprises.